Oh, it's started up again now. Uh, this is a continuation of the video. Here is a space that I was talking about where uh, I don't know, where more of these uh, bar magnets can actually fit into. Obviously, uh, only one layer. Uh, in earlier experiments, I did find that had it adding too much, you know, is too much, and it pushes the field out too far, and it's not only bouncing, let's say, across a small section of that half of that. Having the space and not as strong magnets as you may think in the middle it allows it to obviously work work its way through all this junk in the middle because I wish I had a properly built one but I've had to you know, use this it would allow the field to bounce across a significant area obviously producing more force more amps as you saw it was running the motor uh, when I had it disconnected and running I was sparking it across the uh, well, just across these terminals all down here that's the uh, bridge rectifier I think it's 400 volt or something <laughs> yeah this one is well it's a kbp c35-04 that that means jargon to me too because i just bought it from maplins most of the stuff i buy is from maplins or indeed off ebay uh well i wanted to uh instead of loading the motor i did want to run this capacitor but i couldn't find it but it was right next to me yeah uh that is the Hmm. voltage regulator for a Suzuki alternator which I've stripped to pieces anyway but I was thinking I could use that because it's got that two brushes you know in some way because I want to I do actually want to incorporate the Bedini pulse motor as the drive system I'm just using that the 12 volt right here because it's heavy duty it stays in place and it's it's easy it's an easy quick thing to do to get this half to work in right then obviously I can upgrade it to a Bazzini pulse motor possibly using these maybe not the well definitely not the brushes because they're a, they're a wearing part they're contacts you know the, the waste waste parts uh, transistor is a pretty good one but I haven't tested that mm. yeah uh, uh, well the the rotor itself yeah the rotor is plyboard just cut out from that shape template I've had to cut excess stuff off I've just, as you can see I've had earlier experiments on it this is all just from glue and resin like thank god the person who created glue it was not created to stick skin together but it was created to stick this mofo together like I said all these are repelling put two repelling magnets side by side that one will want to jump to that one and because again the way it is crack 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 which I've had loads of times it just always peeling off always breaking off inside the base here is all just all cut up uh, the general height if you notice just down there there is a, a, a gap at the very bottom of this magnet let's say because these are raised to let's try to get to a stable level just under the height of this because the, the height of the magnets was uh, a couple of mil less it was actually total uh, half a centimetre less so I'll put uh, roughly 2.5 mil above and below which is that space there to get it set in front of it as good as it can so there isn't too much magnetic field you know being let's say spread across the top so we could arc and jump and indeed conduct up these and around the wrong way basically obviously this motor has its own field has its own magnets inside that is an issue so once I get rid of that, obviously I can see the true results of these because the field is indeed probably jumping across because these neodymium magnets are really strong. Uh, underneath nothing special, just like a really smashed up plate sort of thing that I've cut shapes and all sorts out of. Uh, anything else? Well, yeah, these blades have a habit of way focus flying off the way that they are unsupported on the the one side and supported against the rotor itself earlier designs flew off by god did they fly off and smash things and this is why it's took me so long because I've been building it getting annoyed with it stopping for a long time and then rebuilding it again but this is my most successful one and that's why I'm saying 
in this setup right here three phase it will have lens law it will and I'll I'll say yeah I know I'm trying to do lensless completely the opposite but this one in this setup will have lens law later on I'll whip this over rewire it and uh, run it as a single or series yeah as a series now but the, yeah this is just an extension to cover any little other bits and any questions or any such information required or even if you have information yourself share it we're all, we're all here trying to do the same thing we're all trying to create the three free three no oh, that's 3g the free energy stuff you know people who read textbooks 200 years ago excess and all that crap sorry <laughs> all that junk yeah they they're old school now it's like modern technology it moves on the same stuff just thought differently and it works well it works as part and it might work in practice so yeah, any information wanted to know, any information you want to share, please, by all means, do so. Thanks. See you later.